Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this is going to be my 11 month hair transplant update. Um, so yeah, check it out. Hey guys, so if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I upload hair transplant updates every single month. I've been doing it for the last 11 months. We are almost at a year now, so it is going really, really well with the hair transplant. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna dive straight in with the recap of where we've been, and then we'll check out what my hair looks like now, and I will give you a little bit of a bit of information about what has happened this month because I tested mesotherapy. So yeah, let's just roll, roll the tape. And then here we are today at 11 months. You can see that the hairline is thickening up. It's continuing to improve every single month. It is getting better and better. It could be another seven months until I have the full final results um, because it can take up to 18 months and a year and a half for you to really see the final, final benefits of a hair transplant. So yeah, that's where we are today. You can see that the hairline has thickened up. It's looking really good. Um, from my opinion, it's looking really good. I love the straight hairline. The straight hairline is something that I specifically requested. Um, they did try to convince me to go for a more natural, more natural looking hairline, but I was very, very adamant that I wanted a straight hairline. So to everyone that is saying that the straight hairline looks stupid, I don't care. I love the hairline. This is exactly what I asked for. This is exactly what I got. So I'm happy that's what is important. So quickly, if you haven't seen my videos before or you are going to ask me the general questions that I usually get asked, I am 32 years old. I got my hair transplant done at Vinci Hair Clinic on Harley Street in London. I decided not to go abroad. It was the middle of the pandemic when I got it done, so I couldn't actually have gone abroad anyway. So I got it done in London. It cost roughly 4,000 pounds. I had about 2,000 to 2,500 grafts taken from the back of my head, put into the front of my head. I got an FUE procedure, not an FUT procedure. I've had one session of PRP injections, uh, which was included in the package. And I've also now had a session of mesotherapy, which I will discuss in a second, so I'll get back to that. I'm gonna show you the back as well. The back has healed really nicely. You cannot see any scarring, which is great. I've not had a skin fade, so I'm not sure how short I can take it before you would notice any sort of scarring, but I'll show you the back anyway so you can see. So from the back, there's, I mean, I, I had a haircut last month, and it has grown since then, obviously. If you had an FUT procedure, there is a possibility that you would have a scar going along the back there, which you may notice, you may or may not notice, um, but FUE, the scarring is patched all along the back and the sides here. So it's, there's more scarring, but it's less visible. If that makes sense, hopefully that makes sense. What are the other frequently asked questions? Frequently asked questions. If you want to know specifically about the earlier stages of getting a hair transplant procedure, then check out the first videos that are in this playlist, which will be linked to the bottom down here, because um, I did weekly videos for the first month so that you could get a really good gauge of what is going on, what the process is of getting your hair transplant done, and like the days afterwards and how, how it heals and what you need to do, how you need to wash your hair and everything. So yeah, check out the earlier videos in this playlist for any of that sort of information it's all in there so you can't miss it i think that is it for the frequently asked questions but if you do have any other questions that you want to ask me drop your questions in the comments or send me a message on instagram if you'd rather remain anonymous i will get back to every single one of you it just takes a little bit of time because there's quite a few questions coming into my dms hey this is just a random little segment in this video um i've just taken the dog for a walk and it's pissing down with rain outside and um i figured i would show you my hair what it looks like because um yeah it's been raining so um yes let's shall i zoom in i hope you can see that's like the top of my head once i've just been out in the rain um but yeah not bothered at all by the rain those gaps are filled in really nicely so that's pretty much the end of this little tiny little segment in this video so um yeah when it rains you've got nothing to worry about because it just looks normal 
all good. Okay, so earlier this month, I went back to Vinci Hair Clinic to get mesotherapy. Now, mesotherapy is similar to PRP in the sense that it is injection therapy. They don't take your blood prior to or anything like that. Mesotherapy involves injections directly into the scalp and it's got minerals, DHT blockers and vitamins in it. Same sort of situation as taking um, oral medication like finasteride, but where finasteride has to go through your digestive system to then get into the bloodstream, this goes directly to the source where it needs to go. So according to the website, it's a lot more effective. But yeah, so check out the mesotherapy. Here we go. Hey, I am on my way down Harley Street right now. I'm heading to Vinci Hair Clinic um, to get mesotherapy. Fingers crossed I can get there in the next like two minutes or something. It's a beautiful day in London today. Yesterday was the hottest day of the year and today is hotter than yesterday. So I'm not enjoying this, this rush to get there. It's not fun, um, but I'm almost there now. So yeah, see you inside. sensation like it feels quite nice but then like when I'm feeling my head now I can feel all of the bumps from where the injections have gone in but that does then eventually spread out across the um the whole head yeah it's um it's a strange sensation but really fast it's uh, probably quicker than PRP injections um it's less painful than PRP injections but I mean PRP is pretty painless anyway but yeah, it's, uh, that was completely pain free and now it just kind of feels really tingly and strange, but yeah. I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update. Uh, it's been about half an hour now and all of the bumps and everything have already gone down. So it doesn't take, it doesn't take long for it to all go back to normal and it's all just dispersed itself into my hair. So, or into my scalp, not my hair, easy. If you are interested in learning about mesotherapy, I'll put links to the page in the description box below so you can check it out. My experience, it's much better than PRP injections because it is a lot, it, it's, PRP isn't painful, but it is a weird sensation. Mesotherapy, completely pain-free. There's not really a weird sensation. You're left with a couple of bumps at the end of it. Um, eventually just, gets absorbed into the scalp so it, it those bumps go away completely um, about half an hour afterwards apparently it's a highly potent therapy so it's a lot more effective than than just taking oral medication so if you wanted to um, not take oral medication and just have 
a session of mesotherapy every month, that should give you the same sort of results as taking oral medication every day. This is what it says on the website. I'm not a clinical medical expert or anything like that, so this is just what I, I have learnt. Um, but feel free to do your own research um, and look it up yourself so that you know the facts. So the mesotherapy only lasted about 15, 20 minutes. It was such a short, quick procedure. Um, if you are looking at price-wise, uh, it is recommended that you have like 6 to 12 sessions of mesotherapy to get the full boost of it. Obviously, the more sessions you book, the, the better the package will be, so it will be slightly cheaper each month than um, if you only booked like one session, for example. But that's pretty much this video. Uh, if you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. If you decide to get your hair transplant done at Vinci Hair Clinic, feel free to use my referral code. It's GGVV2021, um, and it will give you a free three-month supply of the Vinci Hair Clinic Vitruvian Vitamins, which is what I'm taking every day. It's a hair supplement that has a load of hair boosting stuff in it. So it's worth having if you're getting your hair transplant done at Vinci Hair Clinic anyway. You'll just need to put that code into the additional comments when you book your initial consultation with them. That is pretty much it for this video. Please do let me know any of your, your questions or comments in the comments down below. And I will see you guys really soon for my next video, which will be my one year hair transplant update. I cannot believe it's been an entire year. Yeah, it is going really, really good. I am blown away with how this is looking. I've, oh, I just, I think it just looks great. It looks so good. It's, it's really coming, coming well. I am very, very, very pleased with how it's gone. Uh, can't wait to see it when it is finally completely finished. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, whatever you're doing. Um, and I will see you really soon. Thanks. Bye.